Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the chart of account hierarchy in Oracle Fusion. So let's get into the agenda. So to understand the chart of accounts, first of all, we have to understand where does this particular chart of account comes into picture. So for any of the Oracle Fusion ERP instance, when, when the Fusion ERP instance is configured, then generally the configuration starts with the business group, then you'll have a legal entity, then ledger and then the, what do you call the address, business unit, inventory, and sub-inventory, okay? So we'll not concentrate on the full enterprise architecture. Our concentration is only on the part of chart, account, chart of account, but to understand chart of account, we have to understand where exactly it is used. That is why ledger as well as legal entity will also be considered. And this session is more of a technical perspective. We will not discuss about how do we configure all, those, all of those things. We just concentrate on what are the tables involved of legal entity, ledger, and chart of accounts, okay? Now, so generally, if you observe the hierarchy in this example of an enterprise structure, so the configuration starts with business group. Then, you know, like you may, if at all, if you want to consider it as a division, you'll also have a division. And then what you do is you'll have a ledger and then you'll have a legal entity under it. So you can assign a single ledger to multiple legal entities. Okay. Vice versa is not correct. Vice versa is not possible, but you have a ledger. Now here, if you observe in this example, Vision US Incorporation primary ledger, this is assigned to US1 legal entity as well as US2 legal entity and with a different balancing segment. Okay, and they have the respective business units also. So the basically what exactly this particular ledger is all about is ledger will have a four C's. If you observe the earlier screenshot, the major properties or the major important information about the ledger is it maintains four C's, nothing but chart of accounts, calendar, currency, and accounting convention. Okay. If at all, if this particular configuration is same for a given legal entity, what generally we prefer is you can have a same, same ledger to the different legal entities, even though you have a different legal entity, but if you're following the same set of jurisdiction, accounting combination and everything, you can simply go with that. And of course, you'll have a different balancing segment using which you can understand, okay, which particular uh, like whenever you have a transaction, you can easily understand like uh, to which particular with to which legal entity this particular transaction belongs to. Like that, you can easily filter it out. Okay. So now coming to the next thing. So our concentration on COA part. So like when you discuss about COA or ledger legal entity, first of all, what are the main things you have to understand? The first and foremost thing is we require a value set and values, and then the chart of account structure, and then ledger and then legal entity. So let's start with the value set and values. So to define a value set, what do you do? You require, you need to just navigate a task called manage value sets. And there you just need to create a new value set. But here, if you observe the screenshot, we are trying to show the existing value set, which is already available. And here, if you observe, we have a five, we are like a, in this one, it shows as of now it is showing only five, right? Yeah, five value sets okay and they have a value this is a value set code you have a description and it belongs to a module of general ledger and the validation type is independent and the data is this one so to configure chart of account first of all you require a value set and of course it should have a values okay now assume that value sets and values are configured and the next thing what you do is you have to configure the structure and to configure the structure what you do navigate i mean you, you need to consider the task called manage chart of account structure okay and you can just search with gl hash and you could see this particular record and then you just click on manage structure instances manage key flexible structure instances and then here in this one i'm trying to show the existing one so here if you observe if i search with a structure instance code of corp uscoa i'm getting this one okay and now to this particular chart of account instance we'll be assigning all the set of things like uh, we'll be uh, first of all what we do is we'll create how many segments you want to have it right so when you have a chart of account segment nothing but like whenever you have a whenever you configure your oracle fusion instance you have to first of all plan how many segments you want to have for your accounting code combination whether you want to have a four segments or a five segments or a six segments or you know like a, based on the requirements you have to configure in this example here if you observe for the us chart of account we have six segments okay and each segment belongs to a different value set so here if you observe the company segment is using a value set called corporate company and similarly, LOB is using a corporate LOB, account is using corporate account, et cetera. Okay. So now what are we doing? We are creating, we have created a value set. That value set is assigned to chart of account structure. Okay. That is how the linkage between a value set as well as chart of account structure. Okay. Now, where exactly this particular force is placed around for the ledger? So here, if you observe the example, in this one, the ledger name is US primary ledger. Okay. And here, if you observe, first of all, you start with the currency. 
the currency is USD. Chart of accounts, nothing but the chart of account combination, which we just shown the earlier slide. And then the accounting calendar, nothing but like whether you have 13 periods or a six periods, what is the first period, all those things you'll have mentioned there. And the next one is the sub-ledger accounting. These are the four important four C's of your ledger configuration. Of course, there are many other, other important properties, but especially for when you talk about four C's, these are the four important properties, okay? This configuration, you have to do it ledger level, okay? Now, coming to the next thing, you have a ledger, like uh, assume that your ledger is configured. The next thing is you have to link between a ledger to the legal entity, right? So ledger is a different, ledger is an independent component. Legal entity is an independent component, but we require a correlation between ledger and legal entity. That is where the BSV comes into picture, balancing segment values. So then what you do, you need to select what is a, like a BSV accounting, accounting uh, what you call a value set. And here in our case, the corporate company. And then what is a, what is a segment of this corporate company? You can just observe that. First one, right? Segment one. Segment one, segment one is our value set. Okay, corporate company value set. And for that, what are you doing? You're differentiating nothing but like a, you for like a, you need to mention for this value set, for this particular value, and in this particular ledger to which, like now here, if you observe in this example, for 120, the value of 120 for the company, uh, for the corp, for the company value set value 120, it, it belongs to Supreme, Supremo Fitness and it belongs to the legal entity, US legal entity. Okay, and now similarly, like for this 101 and 110, it belongs to use for 101 belongs to US1 legal entity and 110 belongs to US1 legal entity, second PBSV. Okay, so now this one belongs 102 belongs to US, US1 LE2. Okay, so what are we trying to tell you here is these all three companies or four companies they are using the same ledger, but they are they are getting differentiated by the balancing segment value. Okay, that was the thing which we have shown in the, in the earlier picture, right? Let me show you that again. This one. Okay, you have a balance segment 101, which belongs to the US1 legal entity. Similarly, you have balance segment 102, which belongs to US2 BU. And this configuration you have you have to, or we generally do it, which 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 level? PSV, nothing but using balance segment, you have a, you, you perform a correlation between the ledger and legal entity. Okay, now coming to the very important part. So as of now, if you have observed, we have discussed all these particular five parts. The first one was, Value sets, which which get stored in the Fendi Flex value sets table. Of course, there are some other tables which are uh, which are there for the Flex value set also. But high level, this is a table which has flag value set information. Next one is a structure, Fendi ID Flex structure, and then the other table is a ledger. So the ledger will have the information about which chart of account you're using, right? So nothing but you'll have a chart of account ID and the structure will have a structure code. That's how you correlate with the ledger as well as chart of account table. Similarly, in the BSV, balance segment value you have a linkage between the ledger id of ledger id in the gl ledger table with the balance segment table and similarly you have a linkage between the bsv table with the legal entity table like uh, here if you observe the legal entity id which is having a source id in the there are two tables involved for the uh, what you call xle nothing but the legal entity table there are two tables xle entity profiles as well as registration okay and if you observe here legal entity is linked to the balance segment based on the condition of uh, balance segment while legal, legal entity you are joining with that the entity profile and similarly for the ledger id you just need to join with the balance segment ledger id condition with the g ledger table okay so this is how you linkage these three tables and to if at all if you want to consider gl ledger linkage with fnd uh, like a uh, flex structures or value sets right what you can do is in this ledger table you have a chart of account id that you have to join that you have to join with the fnd id flex number let me show you that also right so here if you observe fnd id flex number right this is the id flex number is nothing but your chart of account id you just need to join with that so this particular query it simply tells you for a given chart of account structure what are the value sets are there and what are the segment names is there so there are like a couple of tables here we have used fnd id flex structures fnd id flex segments and fnd flex values fnd flex value sets okay now of the application id you can hard code generally it is for gl it is uh, 101 and structure code just mention that and you just need to join this particular table and uh, like a respect to joins have to mention and that's how you look at the information right so let's try to just check out from the ui also like uh, so far whatever we have discussed we'll try to just check out from the instance so once you log into the fusion instance next thing what you do is you just go to the st like uh, i mean just click on your username and click on setup and maintenance okay Okay, let it open. Maybe I can show you the query also. 
let me just show you the result first and then we can discuss uh, the queries which have written so that will get some clarity okay so the first one is like uh, the accounting flex name so in a fusion you have a different set of flex names like a what do you call the kff segments which are available like a what do you call in the fixed assets you have in the like uh, item inventory are there there are many other models which have the different account different kffs are there so come into our gl the id flex code for gl is gl hash nothing but the accounting flex flex one and the next one is the for this particular structure code so like for the ledger which we are discussing the structure code was corp corp underscore us underscore coa and the flex number is 21 and here if you observe in the gl ledger table this is how you have to join chart of accounts id is nothing but your id flex number that's how we have to join okay and this is a linkage between legal entity and ledger table okay and then this is a uh, one which shows information about what are the set of value sets and their value set names in the fnd uh, fnd ID flex structures table okay and so this one it tells you like a same thing like a, which we are discussed right so like a, it tells you like in the in one more important thing is in the ui it never show you the structure code it simply tells you the structure name so here if you observe the screenshot which i have shown you this one let me tell you that yeah so here in the chart of accounts it tells you about us chart of accounts it will it will never tell you the name as corp underscore us coa okay so you just make sure that you know like what are the name which shown in the ui it is you like a it flex structure name not the code okay yeah let's go back here now first thing is like a, what are the things which you have discussed as part of financial so select the financial module or financial application and then you know like uh, there are a few things which may not be available here or maybe you know like it may it may be difficult so what we can do is you can just click on task list and you can click on search we'll start with the first of all we'll start with the value sets and then you know we can show you the remaining part click on search manage value set or value just value percentile okay so in our case it starts with corp so i can just simply search with corp right so we could see the five value sets okay so these are like uh, you can just click on values and you can see the list of values which are there for the value sets okay now coming to the next one like how this value set value sets are assigned to the chart of account stuff right you can just check out here in the setup select financials click on financial reporting structures and you can just click on main chart of account value set and So these all stuffs are linked to the GL hash one, right? These are the, okay. This is the same thing which you have seen, right? Not this one. Let me show you the other one. This one, chart of account structures. So click on chart of account structure. Now you mention the GL hash. Okay. So now here, if we just click on many structure instances. Now, what was the structure name? We can just search with, what was that name? Right. So of course you are getting a list of things, right? Like a US chart of account. So this was the chart of account structure and you can just click on edit and you can see the list of segments and their respective value sets. So now this chart of account structure is having these number of segments and each segment is linked to this value set. Okay. So this is how you configure a chart of account. Now, once your chart of account is configured, the next step, what we generally do is you just like, uh, you know, you have to configure the ledger, right? You can just try that. So click on general ledger here and you can just click on primary ledger. Okay. Or maybe you can simply click on specify ledger option. So I'm trying to show you the existing one. I'm not configuring anything new. Okay. Now you just see the specific, uh, if you want to see the ledger options, which, has con which are configured on this particular primary ledger, these are the things like currency, chart of account and this stuff, accounting period, sub ledger accounting. Now, come into the legal entity information right so let's see that one also like i just click on legal structure 
and uh, yeah, just click on this one legal entity. Okay, so this is a legal entity information, but it is not telling it is not telling what is the linkage between the legal entity and ledger. That information is available only the BSV level. Okay, so let me just see the screenshot again. The BSV one, right? So you have to search the task assign balancing segment values. Okay, assign. Balance segment values. Assign balance and segment values to legal entities. Okay. So from here, this is how you can configure the linkage between a legal entity and ledger. Okay. So this is the high level information or overview of you know like uh, the chart of account part or ledger legal entity part and fusion. Okay. Hope it will help you for your understanding. Thank you.